All right, we're going to switch gears here. Uh, we told you about the breaking news just moments ago. The violence in the district continuing. D.C. police on the scene of a shooting in the 2200 block of Alabama Avenue Southeast. We do know that five people are shot, but we're told they're conscious and breathing. As you can see, Bob is on the scene uh, with the very latest. Bob, what can you tell us? Hey, Holly, good morning. A large police presence here. This is Alabama Avenue, uh, just south of the Suitland Parkway, and this is a uh, shopping center parking lot here, and you can see a number of police here are gathering information. We don't see any of the victims here, uh, no ambulances or what have you. We know that it's apparently three men, two women. Uh, one of the five is a juvenile. Uh, at this point, we don't believe anybody's been killed. Uh, Chief Robert Conti is here, and he's been talking to report. Chief? Chief, Bob Barnard with Fox 5, and we are live on TV. Yeah. Can you give us, uh, Chief, uh, what you know so far here? Yeah, so far what we know is about 8.30, uh, this 8.38 this morning, uh, lone gunman uh, appeared uh, in the block, uh, fired shots, and then when he fired the shot, several individuals were hit right now. It appears that there were five people that were hit, uh, taken to area hospitals. Um, all the individuals who are who were sh uh, shot at this point appear to have non-life-threatening uh, injuries, although there is one person that has serious injuries. Uh, one of the individuals that hit was a 13-year-old. Uh, the 13-year-old has a non-life-threatening injury uh, as well. Uh, we're asking for anyone who has information related to this incident to please call us on 202 727 or text tip us at 50411. Do we know, is, is one or perhaps more of the victims women? Uh, it appears at least two of the victims may be women at this time. What about the shooter? Is that person still out there at this point? The shooter is still out there. Uh, we'll be putting a description out right now. Uh, we know it's a, a black male who had on blue jeans and a dark color, uh, appears to be some type of hoodie, uh, black or dark color hoodie at this point. Was he on foot or in a car? The individual's on foot. Any idea what this was about? Were, were any of those people targeted? Uh, we don't know what it was about. We don't know uh, why this individual uh, decided to do this. What I do know is that that's unacceptable. It's unacceptable in the District of Columbia for somebody to brazenly shoot into a crowd of people and five people to be struck at 8.38 in the morning. That's unacceptable, and I'm asking for the community's help to bring this person to justice. Chief, as we show our viewers the scene here with a lot of police here, it's a shopping center, a metro, uh, you know, a, a convenience store, a phone store, a discount store. I mean, what do you do about this? I mean, it just seems like it keeps happening. We hear from victims, families saying, please don't settle your scores with guns, and it keeps happening. You guys try to take illegal guns off the street. They're still out there. Well, Bob, we've taken over 1,500 illegal guns uh, off the street, and it's unfortunate that we have people in community. This person was on foot. No doubt in my mind that this person is somebody who's part of this community, and we need to find that person. I'm asking for the community's help to bring that person to justice. This is unacceptable, and we should all be sick and tired of this. I've said this before. This is not my first time saying it, and I will keep saying it. We have to hold people accountable when they commit crimes like this in our city. And I understand, you know, that there may be uh, people who are in need of, of other services and programs and so forth, and that's all fine and well. But the person who did this, this person has terrified this community, and that's unacceptable, and he has to be held accountable for that. Chief, thank you for thank speaking you. to us. I appreciate it, guys. And we'll just show you the scene again here. I mean, you have obviously a lot of police here, obviously also fanned out into this community. This is Alabama Avenue Southeast, the 2300 block. Again, it's just off Suitland Parkway. This happening in the morning when people are out shopping and doing what have you. And the gunman who has shot five people, including a 13-year-old and at least two women, is still on the loose this morning.